Ali Abunima is a co-founder of the Electronic Intifada and author of the book The Battle for Justice in Palestine. He says the resolution was not representative of the will of the Palestinian people and doesn't uphold their rights. This resolution is much weaker than existing UN Security Council resolutions. Existing UN Ca uh, Security Council resolutions call for the dismantling of Israeli settlements in occupied territory. Uh, and uh, this resolution doesn't use any of that language. Previous resolutions state that Israel's annexation of Jerusalem is illegal and null and void. This resolution uses very, very weak language that, uh, you know, Israel's uh, claims over Jerusalem are not internationally recognized. These linguistic differences may seem very uh, subtle to some viewers, but they're fundamentally important. They're the difference between staking a legal claim to uh, fundamental Palestinian rights or giving those up. Because uh, if you, Israel may oppose this resolution now, but had it passed, you can be sure they'd be relying on it and saying, look, all those previous resolutions that say settlements are illegal and must be dismantled have been superseded by this resolution, which says nothing of the sort. This was not an action by uh, the Palestinians. It was by, uh, uh, an action by an unrepresentative, unelected Palestinian authority that was opposed. If you look at the reactions to all the political factions across the political spectrum in Palestine, they opposed this resolution. So this was a last ditch measure by a Palestinian authority that is unelected, that rules through uh, 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 intelligence services and a police state to try to win a uh, one day of positive headlines and to extend its shelf life. Remember, this was supposed to be Mahmoud Abbas's big uh, plan to go to the UN. Well, it's failed. Now what? Will they make good on their threats to take Israel to the International Criminal Court to dismantle the Palestinian Authority and hand the keys of the occupation back to the occupying power Israel? I doubt it. This is a bankrupt Palestinian Authority that made this large, last ditch ploy and failed. And, uh, and I doubt that they're just going to do what they should do, move out of the way and let Palestinians actually determine their own future.